Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today's the day we are gonna do a video on the premium mini ratchet set. I did a video with a whole collection of affordable options. That's options that are, let's say $50, $60 and below, which is pretty reasonable, really, considering how much use you're gonna get out of this tool. There are premium editions, and many of you pointed that out that, hey, what about some of these? Well, there's a plan for everything, guys. And this time, we're gonna go over the premium options. I didn't think it was fair to compare and contrast these ones in the same video as the others because, let's just admit it, they're a whole different price category. And uh, most of these go for close to $100 for a set, which still, if it's a good set, that $100 is gonna be awesome and, and well worth it. But let's go ahead and take a look. Is it worth it? So, guys, First off, oh, there we go. First off, I want to show you that I have the Weira set that everybody was talking about, the Weira tool check, and we'll go over that one. That one I'm, I'm really curious about. Many of you recommended it. I've got the Fellow brand. So Fellow or Philo, it's made in Germany as well. And this is the XS33 kit. And this looks like it's going to be excellent quality. You guys know I'm a fan of Weha. Now there are many different Weha sets, just like there's many different Fellow sets and there's different um, of the Weira sets. But this one here is going to be a pretty good example of you know, what to expect from a premium set. So uh, let's go ahead and start it off and show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is uh, the Weira set. These are smaller than quarter inch shank. So it's not going to be a traditional bit. And because of that, there is a bit adapter. You see that? So these are all smaller diameter, which is good if you're doing precision work. Really good. So first off, the condition of the ratchet looks excellent. And that's what you would expect. There's no flashing. I don't even see flashing marks. It's all polished. It's got a good grip. And you can see the size of it based on my hand. That's what you want in a mini ratchet. Now it does have the little knurled nut at the top so I can uh, manipulate it with my fingertip, which is highly desirable. And it's got a very big directional chain. See that? So this one here also, you can tell that it's built like a traditional ratchet to which you have a fastener and a plate which holds all the guts in. And it's not possible for it to push out the back. I love that, love that, because that's the most annoying thing over one of my other ratchets. So the ratchet looks like it's excellent quality. This set also comes with a precision screwdriver and a precision screwdriver extension. So this extension you can even use in the ratchet, but you have to use the adapter. You see that? Looks like it's really good quality. The extension does not have a magnet in it, or does it? Does it, does it have a magnet? Nope, does not have a magnet in it. I, I figured as much because it's really tiny. You can see based on the size of my fingertips, but it does have some retention, um, what is that? Some spring-loaded straps in there. So when you push something in, it is retained. Cool set. I've had this one for years. You can see how the extension fits into the screwdriver. Really nice. This one here has served me for years. I figured this was my inspiration for doing a premiere set. It's got um, a whole variety of precision flat blades and precision uh, Phillips. It's got metric, uh, it's got fractional, and it's got torques. It goes torques all the way down to T3 to T20. Holy cow. T3, guys, do you know how small T3 is? I have to like put it on my fingertip just so you guys can see how small T3 is. And let's see, what else do we got? Oh, it's got, so this is a uh, pentalobe, I think. It's not Torx, it's uh, P3. Wow, that's so tiny, almost like a needle. You guys see that? So pentalobe is used in some types of like cell phones and whatnot. Instead of six points, there's five points, but it's got P1 all the way to P6. So it's got a good selection of pentalobe as well. 
I like it. And when it comes to uh, miniature sockets, which these can be super cool, I've got, uh, what is that, 2, 2.0, all the way up to 5.5, or I've got 564, which is tiny, that is absolutely tiny, guys, all the way up to 730 seconds. So as a precision set, that's, that's more of what I'm going to label this one. It's not like a generic set, like some of these other ones that I showed you guys. This is more like a precision set. If you're working on fine electronics, that's what this guy's for. But because it is a more expensive version, made in Germany, Wira, it's going in with my precision, um, with my more expensive sets. But guys, for detail work, this guy here is outstanding. It has earned a place in my uh, rolling tool kit, not in my tool bag. So that's the Weha brand. Let's check out the Fellow. I'm very curious about this one. The XS33. I've seen a lot of different Fellow or Philo brand um, kits, different types of kits. Oh my gosh. Right off the bat, I'll tell you, I'm probably gonna love this kit. The reason I'm gonna love this kit, it's in a rubberized box, so it's not gonna slide around. There's not too many other kits that can say that. It's in a rubberized kit, so it's also protected. It's got a real hinge. It's a rigid case, and it's got a nice large slider. So it's got knurls, so I can slide it with my thumb, because sometimes that happens, or you can grab it from the edges. I dig it. You guys ready? <gasps> what? Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. I like how up here you can see uh, a layout of where everything is or what should be there. So let's go ahead and take a look. The fellow ratchet. It's at an angle, which is a little bit different, but it's probably more practical as well. Um, that way there you don't necessarily need to use extensions. You just grab further back on the ratchet like so. Um, let me tell you, the fit and finish on this guy is insane. It's definitely better than even the uh, Weha. This, this guy is beautiful. and. It's got like four degrees worth of resolution, really tight resolution. It's got a retaining ring right here on the ratchet head. It's got a directional. I thought the directional didn't really have a firm latch, but I can't really get it to sit in the middle. So it's, it's got a good mechanism. This thing is beautiful. Look at this tool. This is actually probably gonna be a heavy duty tool. I can tell. Um, so in the kit, it also has an extension, which is a, a thin, low profile extension made in Germany. Let's see, oh, nice. It's got a um, quarter inch socket adapter. I have a variety of Phillips. I have a variety of cross points. I have a variety of uh, Torx. And these Torx are tiny, tiny. T6. And let's see, what's the largest Torx I got in here? T40. So T6 to T40. That's a win. This is a really small kit. Look how small it is. Um, also, for, for regular Allens, I got uh, 2.0 all the way up to 8.0. Wow. So 8.0. Check that out, guys. Um, and I have a selection of flatheads, as I would expect. Um, overall, this is a pretty good kit, and it's really compact. I mean, look how small that is. Fits right in my hand. So that's the fellow, and this is the XS33. And so far, I think I might like this one the best. Let's go ahead and put him over here. So the one that everybody is telling me about, the Wera Tool Check. Um, so uh, this is a 39 piece. Um, it's extra fine tooth. Everybody's talking about this. They say the one downside is that the Weir tool check, uh, it's as a metric or standard. Well, if it was me, I would probably have the metric set in my bag, in my tool bag. Because that's a variety of uh, tools that we're going to run into is usually metric. Um, first off, let me tell you, this is an interesting package. I like how they, they didn't use it, uh, any metal. And the reason I like that is because it's lightweight. 
this guy, I bet you they're very, very similar. And the Weeha is definitely way heavier it's in a metal case. Um, even though, look how loaded out this kit has. Uh, I've got the precision screwdriver up here, um, which that's kind of cool. It's got some uh, rubberized retainers that hold this guy in. Very nice. So it's got a metal insert for the hex, whereas the Weeha had a plastic precision driver. Um, that's definitely a step up. So that's a really nice quality. Um, let's go ahead and check out that adapter. So this isn't a uh, low profile adapter, but it is a locking adapter. You see that? So you pull it and it locks it and then you push a new bit in and it locks it in. That's kind of cool. Nice grip, nice solid piece right there. I dig it. Looks like it's really nice. So this guy slides right here in the back. And here's the ratchet. So you slide this little strap down. And that's how you get access to the ratchet. Now this is probably the smallest ratchet out of all the ones that I have looked at. Look how small this guy is. And you don't need anything too big because remember this is just a more like a precision instrument. You are not going to do some crazy heavy lifting. Um, <clears throat> it's got a tiny little switch mechanism right here, which is okay because I can grab it if I had a gloved hand. I would be able to grab it just fine, which is mainly what I want. Um, again, it's got the thumb wheel and a really nice knurling on it, so super easy for me to activate activate it with one thumb. You see that? Which is what you're going to be doing a lot of with these little precision instruments. The fit and finish on this guy is beautiful. It would be very comparable to the fellow, very comparable. Now, there's only one thing I can see that might potentially be an issue maybe not if you take a look right here you can see that it's held on by a special type of e-clip so it's an external retaining ring and it it has four corners so instead of just like um, two ears like a regular retaining ring this one has four corners so it's gonna have some better retention but when you're pushing down on it you're putting force on all four of those corners I guess time will tell if that guy works better than the craftsman because that would, that's all that's holding the head in. It might push the head out in the back. Um, it's got a hole in the back side, which is kind of cool because if you get a bit that's stuck in there or whatever, you can just push it out. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of this fanciness. I, oh my God. Guys, if this kit has one thing going for it, it's, it's how well designed it is. I like how these rock out. So all the pokey bits, which are the bits themselves, they're hidden and they're contained normally with this guy. Um, and when you rock it, rock it out, you, this piece right here swivels away from that piece so you can get your fingers in there and grab one out. It'd be all too typical for a manufacturer to create a single piece and you have to kind of squeeze your finger in there and pull on something. Nah, it separates a little bit, just a few degrees, so you get your hand in there and you can pull stuff out. I really like that. Really well designed, guys definitely some good thought went into this um, so I have my quarter inch socket adapter because I have a selection of sockets on the kit guys I love having multiple capabilities in one little tool so I've got 5.5 all the way up to 13 which is also a half inch um, that is quite the selection these are beautiful sockets guys look at they get uh, engraved they're not roll marked they're actually engraved but in the back, they've got um, color codes. So I know a 10 millimeters yellow, and it, if I'm ever looking for something, I can just grab it really quick. There you go. One of the other things I love about this is they have the metal fingers instead of the plastic fingers. Too many manufacturers rely on the plastic fingers to hold your sockets, and these guys are on there firm. And that's good, because you don't want them falling off. It's too typical that you grab onto something or, or the sockets pop off in your bag or something because that's where this is going. This would go in my tool bag. Let's go ahead and put the ratchet back on, lock it in, and let's take a look. We got the quarter inch. I've got, um, what is this? I've got three. It says hop three. I don't know what hop three is. It's a unique design because it's not really hex. 
they have kind of like a, a cove in between, whereas normally they'd be flat. So they're concave. Um, but let's see, it's got a wide selection of those. I got a flat blade, a wide selection of cross point and Phillips. And then on the back side, we continue that trend uh, with up to size three. And then I've got, what is this? A T10 all the way up to a T40. So T10 to T40. Look at that selection of tools. That is pretty much everything that you would normally need when you're out in the field. How cool is that? Now they do sell also a um, SAE or standard version, fractional, but like I said, medical equipment, usually we're gonna be using some sort of metric anyway. This is a real solid kit. And based on all the kits that I've demoed, honestly, I think because of the capabilities of the wear a tool chick, that this might be the one that goes in my tool bag. I'm pretty sure of it at this point. Just the fact that it's got all these capabilities. These ones here are just as expensive, if not maybe more expensive than this one. But this guy, this has all the capabilities that I want and that I need. And I think just the options, the fact that I got a micro driver or I can put the extension on it and I can either have a nut driver or I mean, think about all the options you have here. I mean, the Torx, the, um, the Allens, just everything. What a cool tool kit. So guys, oops, sorry for the camera. In the end, I honestly think I'm gonna choose the, the we're a tool check. Um, it's been an interesting journey going through all these different ratchet sets. They all have their pluses and minuses. Even the Wira has its pluses and minuses, like the fact that there are no SAE versions uh, in this kit that I have to buy a whole separate one in order to get standard. It's, it's a downside, but this is what I'm talking about. I, I want a multi-tool, one that's got multiple capabilities and something that I'm gonna pack with me and take with me every single day. All these other tools here, they have been amazing, especially for the price point. And I would say that all of you guys, every technician is different. You have your own needs. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to do a video very soon and we are gonna give away all of these. We're gonna give them all away, every one of them, okay? So guys, stay tuned very soon. Um, coming up, I will be doing another giveaway and we're giving away hundreds of dollars of mini ratchets. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoy this video and stay tuned for that uh, giveaway coming up probably in the next several days.